Hey everyone, today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can customize your Spotify so it looks just like this. Now, if you're like me, Spotify is just a boring layout. It's not that customizable, and since music is so personal to you, I feel like the application should be personal too. Okay, so what you're going to do to get this rolling is go to the first link in my description, which should take you to Spicify. Now, once you're on Spicify, it is actually a GitHub application, and it's totally fine and safe if anyone questions it. You can see you can change the colors, whole UI, and just totally personalize it to the way you like it. But first, I wanted to share with you one of my favorite security tools, which happens to be the sponsor of today's video. Guardio is a browser extension that provides you real-time protection while browsing the web. Guardio protects you from phishing links, unwanted notifications, malicious extensions, and it can all be monitored on the Guardio dashboard, where you can see everything Guardio has done for you. I've been using them for the past month, and you can see they protected me from 90 harmful sites, 10 phishing sources blocked, and 36 suspicious sites. Really? You can now get it for mobile. All you have to do is put in your email and then it will scan the apps on your phone if there's any data leaks. You'll also get notifications through your phone telling you if your information has been leaked. With Guardio now on mobile, you can keep your identity safe on your computer and most importantly, now your phone. For 10 bucks a month, I'm able to get full online protection for my computer and my phone, which helped me avoid scams. If you go now to guard.io slash ye chris, you'll be able to get 20% off, seven day free trial, and I also hooked you guys up with a free scan that detects existing threats on your phone and desktop. So go check them out, and thanks to Guardio for sponsoring this video. Now what you're gonna wanna go to is the installation. Once you click on that, there's going to be these two things here, one's for Linux and Mac OS, and the other one's for Windows. If you're on Windows, use the Windows code. If you're on Linux or Mac OS, use this. So now I'm just going to copy right over here, this little copy icon, this code right here. Once you have it copied, go to the bottom corner where it says search. On Windows, it's here. I don't know where it is on Mac or Linux. It's probably relatively the same. I'm not too sure. But go down here. Okay, so what you're going to do when you get here is type in Windows PowerShell. You'll see it pops up. I never knew this was a thing until this video, but once you're here, you're going to want to just control V. And then you'll see it starts doing this little spicy shit. And once you do that, you're going to want to click enter. And you'll see it's setting up, downloading, unzipping, and installing. And then once it's installed, it says down here, if nothing has happened, do Spicify apply. So if nothing's happened and nothing's installed, but it tells you to do this again as if it did install, just type this in right now. And you'll see it kind of just redid it and then it says success. So if you're having an error, just do it again. But there you go. Now, once you've done that, you can exit out of that and load up your Spotify. Oh, loads up on my other monitor. And you'll see your Spotify looks exactly the same. But there's a few new features. Now, I just want to say, doing this method does not give you free Spotify premium. It's normal Spotify. If you want to skip ads, skip limits, and all that stuff, you still need to pay for Spotify. I just wanted to get that out of the way before this video gets taken down. So this is not a way to get Spotify premium. I'm not avoiding payment methods. Okay. So right under your library, you should see something new called your marketplace. Once you click on it, you'll see all these things pop up. The extensions, themes, snippets, which allows you to spicify a few things, fix the color of the episode's icon. So all this allows you to just make it more personal. You can auto hide friends. So if you don't like the friends activity, every time it pops up, I don't. You can just do that. And in order to apply these, by the way, you do need to restart the application. You want to fix playlist arrows. Fix main view. Let's just do all these little things right here. There you go. That, that automatically happened. I think I don't actually like that one. What was that? Oh, that was hover panels. I don't like that one. So it looks like some of these do happen already. But what I'm more interested in and what you're probably more interested in is in themes, which you can already see it changes up stuff. So that's, can you search? You can search. So if you're into anime stuff, that there's nothing for you. <laughs> um, let's see. Ooh, Night Riding looks good. Let's see something that's just 
really cool. Okay. There's not many themes. Oh, there you go. This automatically does it by the looks of it. So what if I want to change it? Click on this. The page loads required. Reload later. Interesting. Okay, so that's installed. Let me just restart it. Some of them may need external things, but for me, I don't know how to actually add those. Maybe it's in snippets. Who knows? Oh, I cleaned this up too a little bit. Let's go to my library, and it says it changed up a few things. Let's go like here. Oh, oh look at this. I'm going to lower this. Let's lower my audio. And you can see down here, I've already personalized my Spotify, how it looks different. And if you look all the way down here, I can skip through the song and you'll see it's not here anymore. It's all through the whole application. So that's pretty cool. Now let's go back to the marketplace, go to themes, and actually get myself some pretty cool looking themes. Let's do, let's just do, let's go back to this one. This one's cool. There we go. So now, if I want to go over here, you can see my library. You can have this cool, sick, um, neon, um, aesthetically pleasing thing in the back. It actually goes really well with my song right here. And you can see the music gets now played here. And it changes up the whole style, which is really cool. It personalizes it. And it looks super cool. Now let's go back to themes and see if something else catches my eye. Click on that. And it gives it this green look. Nothing crazy on this one. I noticed going back to the marketplace, the snippets, if I remove that and remove that and remove that, what makes this like this then? That's add everything that I like here, except the hover panels. I hate hover panels. Nothing crazy's happened. What's happened here? It's weird. Yeah, no, there you go. It did. Under extensions, there's also a bunch of stuff like auto skip certain songs. So you can set it to auto skip songs that maybe you just don't want to hear in your playlist. It actually seems really helpful. Power bar. Let's add a volume percentage. Reload now. And then play the song. And then down here, you can see exactly what percent it's at. A bit weird, but why not? Going back to themes, this one looks super cool. It's got over 3,000, I think that's like add-ons. Let's click on it, let's take a look. Okay, it does not look like to be working well. Holy, what's happened? Okay, maybe with some of these uh, snippets, it might ruin some of these things. I'm not sure, but you can see it's kind of screwed this up. It's definitely not what it looks like over here. Let's see. This one looks cool. This is like a dark mode, which this looks just like normal Spotify. Hello? Did I not do something correct? It's not installed. Hello? This is a bit confusing for me. I know this is my first time doing this, so maybe... Okay, you gotta double click. So one downloads it, and then one clicking it again actually applies it if you have a previous one. This one, I do not like at all whatsoever. This is ugly as shit. That's the weird one who ever made that. I'm sorry, I don't like that. So this one downloads it. Then this one applies it. What did I do? Literally, what did I do? Okay. That's just weird. Nothing's happened. Okay, so this is pretty much how you can do this. There's a whole bunch of customizability here with, um, you can even install, like, custom... C C G S S. What is it called? Uh, uh, sorry, J S S. I don't know what those are. I'm I'm a dumbass. But there you go. I'm gonna stick with this one because this is the most like vibrant and colorful. And you can see how your thing plays along over here. I actually did like this one feature. Where to go? I installed too many that it's it's. Oh god. But I actually don't know how to get it back. That's totally fine. So you can see what's installed here. If you want to install more snippets to clean up the UI, you can. If you want themes to just customize the background and just the overall look of it, you can. And there's also extensions. You can paraphrase stuff. There's power bars. As you can see, I added a percentage bar here. You can even view your friend's likes. There you go. A CSS injector. This is probably for more custom snippets that you can do. But keep in mind... You cannot get Spotify Premium with this. This is just customizability for the end user. You're still going to get ads. You're still going to get skip limits and all that stuff. So if you want to do this for yourself, 
just check out my links below. If you want to see more Spotify-specific stuff, please make sure to like and subscribe. Peace.